Hey everyone, Daniel with HRT, and today I want to show you our handheld series for the AWLS line. So, if you're already familiar with our AWS, you'll know it as the Mark 6 head or the Mark 3 head variants, with the Mark 6 being 90,000 candela and 1,700 lumens, and the Mark 3 being 58,000 candela and 1,600 lumens. These are available on the full on rifle light body or just a head alone if you want to pair it to something you might already have. Listening to a lot of feedback and some desires we had from the beginning of the project, we have come out with a handheld body as well. These are available as the EDC, which is the short version with the clips on them, and the duty style, which are the larger 18650 size batteries, and they have the theorem switchbacks on them so you can get a little bit more versatility out of that. Those are a little bit more duty oriented based on the runtime and then the size. It's not as easy to put this into your pocket but it does have the clip if you so choose to do that. So we have both those offerings, and then we have them available in the Mark III head and the Mark VI head. So the Mark VI will be a little bit more expensive, but you're getting that extra candela and lumen boost, so that's why you might wanna trend that way. To get into some of the specifics of each one, the 18350 size units are just gonna have this Theorem clip here for pocket carry, and then they'll have the 18350 size batteries in those. These all have a, um, click cap, so if you click it all the way in, you'll get your constant, and if you just press into it, you'll get your momentary, so you can kind of pick and choose how you need it to work. Um, you do get both options through it. On the 18650 size, the duty version, we have the actual theorem switch back on here, and this allows you to use it both in a overhand style, or if you loop your finger through it, you're allowed able to manipulate more than just your light around, you can do some things with the gun, um, maybe other tools you might be using and such. One of the cool things about this is if I tuck my knuckle back underneath here and then push my thumb onto the ridge of the switchback, I can activate the light when I press in my thumb. So this gives me a little bit more versatility if I'm maybe wanting to shoot at the same time and I've identified something with my light that I need to shoot, I can still get kind of a grip on my gun and when I push my thumb in here, I get my light to turn on. So that gives me some additional opportunities to utilize all the systems together instead of just having to hold my light only or my gun only, I can do all those things. This is a great maybe if your carry gun doesn't have a light on it or you have maybe an issued gun that doesn't have a light on it like uh, it used to be issued an M9 and they don't have lights on them unless you go through all the extra hoops to get the spare parts and stuff. So the duty version comes with that switchback, that's an excellent tool you can add there. And then should you want to lock that feature out, you can just rotate the switch back over to the side here. And we've put these little scallops in the back where the click cap is, so that if I go to activate it with my knuckle, I have to give a lot of pressure to get it to go on. I just did it there. I have to really push into it. So it's not a, and it's not a perfect lockout, but it does give you some safety so you're not going to be bumping it if you're trying to manipulate it around the cap there. So. These are on the website, the EDC and the Duty, and the Mark VI and the Mark III variants. So check those out at hrttacticalgear.com. Reach out to us if you have any questions, and we'll see you on the range.